Good morning, YouTube. It is 10.27 a.m. on October 19th, 2024. This is probably the third time I've started this because I've already had several interruptions for a lovely Saturday morning. Um, this is a long overdue video for the Peace, Love, and Stitches channel. My name is Sarah, if you don't know already. Um... I don't have a whole lot to show you, but I don't really know where to begin at this point. Um, and I'm also hoping I don't get interrupted for another time. Um, so, one reason why I don't really have a whole lot to show you, even though I'm not sure when I last recorded a video. Um, I don't have a lot to show you because I work full time. And I'm still trying to figure out, even though I've been full-time for like a year now. And I can't figure out how best to cross-stitch and still work full-time. Because I get really tired after my shifts. <laughs> but I am awake from like 6 a.m. until 4 a.m. And then I immediately come home, eat dinner, and then start getting ready for bedtime. So, <clears throat> there is that. Um, and I do primarily stitch a lot on the weekends, which is also when I would, would record a video. So, a lot of times I don't record because I choose to stitch. Which I should be doing now because I have to catch up on something because I'm supposed to... I think it should be this weekend. Yeah, I should be finishing it this weekend, but that's okay. There's still the rest of today, and there is still tomorrow. So, um, the other reason I don't have a whole lot to show you was there was an entire week where we in the lovely South Carolina area, where I live, got hit by Hurricane Helene, and we didn't have power for about six days, and so... There was absolutely no stitching to be had because the only source of internet I had came from my mobile phone or cell phone since mobile is dating my age a little bit, but, um, <clears throat> we only had cell phones for, um, any source of internet access and that was not even internet related because we didn't have Wi-Fi. We just had the network that we have, which I have a separate network from my family, but, um, anyway, and I didn't want to eat up all of my power, my battery from my telephone. So it was a constant, the only way you could charge phones was either one where I worked or two in a car because we were charging off of the car battery. Yay. Uh, <clears throat> so there was that. It was completely like there was days of just walking around in the dark. Um, constantly had a flashlight in hand. And everything was done outside because it was light outside and it was dark in the house. Because we had no lights. Uh, yeah, that was great fun. The only saving grace at my house was we had a uh, gas water heater, so we still had hot water. Um, could take baths and showers and all that, but we cooked all our meals out on a camping stove under our carport every day. So we were essentially just camping at home, which was a little frustrating. But at least it happened while it was um, warmer out, and then the week after, the two weeks after, it um, got really cold here. So, if you do hear any noises of things running in the background, I do have a space heater that is currently heating my space because we don't have gas heat hooked up. So our heater doesn't work right now. Yeah, yes, we are in October and we don't have a heat source other than space heaters again. Anyway, 
that's a story for a different time. So, um, September, I had lofty goals for September that, uh, didn't happen because Hurricane Helene hit. <laughs> um, so in September, I had a great plan that I was going to hit 12,000 stitches on a new start because I didn't have, um, what's this button? I didn't have my, um, hate style that month because I was all caught up. So, and the current, the new part wasn't coming out until October. Well, it, the uh, new parts hit, I'm almost done with it. We're great. Um, so I had decided to start a, um, it's a retired piece. It's called Puppies on a Shelf. It's by Adrian Chesterman and charted by Pain Free Crafts. And I was like, well, I can do 12,000 stitches. Oh no. Hitting buttons. I could do 12,000 stitches on this cutie patootie little thing here. I already had the fabric for cut and ready to go for at least, goodness, was it since last year, maybe? <laughs> and so I dug around, found my fabric, and got everything sorted to start. And what I was doing was just taking. <clears throat> color running through the whole part. Um, all I did was sectioned off a slot of what is three pages for this one, which the pages are tiny. And I just started running my threads through, just finishing colors in my section. Basically I started, I was stitching it the um, same way that I'd been stitching my hate cell. <clears throat> which blocks out three pages because they were doing a page per quarter or three pages a quarter because it was a page per month. So I kind of started stitching that way on everything now. And um, the only reason I got 12,000 stitches was because I was doing 2,000 stitches a week. Because, and let me rephrase that, 2,000 10 stitches a week, <clears throat> which is essentially a thousand full crosses if you count it that way. However, uh, most of my projects are 10 stitches, so if I say 2,000 stitches a week, just know it's it's half stitch because I primarily do a lot of half stitch. I will show you some projects that I've got um, that are older that I do have full cross uh, projects. They're not my favorite, but that's okay. That's how it works. So I like half stitch better than I do full cross, but I do have projects that are full full cross, as I said, because some projects just lent themselves better to full cross than time stitch. Um, for me, that's the way that I kind of work out how I want to do it. Um, so anywho, back to puppies on a shelf. So I started it at the end of well it was part way through August was where I started it. So I had it completely started on August 17th was when I started it was on August 17th and and then I worked on it was supposed to have worked on it primarily through September which I did work on it in September when I could <laughs> um But because we had the hurricane, I did not get as far as I thought I would. I managed to get 
6,957 stitches done on it. So I got over halfway, which is perfectly fine. Um, and that put me at 6.36% for this project. I'm not mad about that at all. I do wish that I could have seen myself get it through the 12,000 stitches because I had really sat down and was like, okay, I have this much space. I know I'm going to do it this way because I get, I do a thousand half stitches on Saturday and a thousand half stitches on Sundays. And then I can stitch whatever I want after those days. And it could have been more because there were some days where I would always stitch over a little bit. Cause you know, as a stitcher, you kind of, you'll work on a project and you'll just get really going and you'll enjoy it. And then you'll just go blast past what your original goal was um <clears throat> but that did not happen circumstantial was other things that happened um <clears throat> so we we did not reach that but we did get as far as we got now this is on 32 count and it is one over one uh tenth stitch I know I have a lot of crazy threads hanging around because I start and stop from the front with um, waist threads when I do a half stitch on 32 count, but that is what I've got is the span of over three pages. We've got this plant coming in and there's the start of our first puppy right there, um, which I think is the King Charles Spaniel. So that is the start of a King Charles Spaniel right there. So we managed to get that far and that was great progress, honestly, with circumstances considered in there and everything. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I managed to do, which was, has been a, I kind of started it on this a little later in the year but that's okay I had a lot of projects that were under 5% so I hopped on the 5% by 25 uh, kind of thing and I've done a few and reached a few I, I stuck all of my projects that are under 5% in a like decision wheel so I just spin it and then go with that one um, <clears throat> So recently I've been spending at least a couple, if not like three or four, and just having those. And once I finish one, I just move on to the next one that I've already picked. So for September, I was able to reach 5% on this one, which is a, a Hade, uh, Heaven and Earth Designs. It's an Amy Stewart, and it is, um, it's a mini. And it's Boho Seaside View. The washing machine's open. I apologize if you just heard somebody tell me the washing machine's open. Um. <clears throat> Anywho, this is what it will look like. It is mini Boho Seaside View. It's an Amy Stewart. This is one of those projects that is, um, it's on 28 count and it is one of my full cross projects. So this one's not as far as you think it is, even though it is, um, at 5%, literally it is at 5.01% and it has 3,777 projects. <clears throat> and this is where it is. So I just started taking some of the parked threads and just started working them in because I just kind of didn't feel like the parked threads on this anymore. I had originally started it and was doing Royal Rose and I don't like Royal Rose because it gives me really um, lumpy fabric because it bunches a lot and I just kind of don't like that. And so I just started cross countrying through. So I've done some down through here and I just was working in this section. 
but I did reach my 5%. So don't ask me how many stitches I did on it because I really don't know anymore. I usually have that all figured out and I don't know. Um, so as soon as I was done with that one, I picked up the next one that I wanted to do the 5% on and I'm really close to getting this one at 5%. This is, um, sloth mini sloth which is a marta dalig pattern it's one of the seven deadly sins and i bought them all as a um i bought them all at once like in their little series stuff and i got all the minis and i chose this one for whatever reason <laughs> i wanted the blue one to do um and i decided on the minis not the full uh, the, the regular size patterns just because I was just I loved the idea of them but I didn't want the full chart so this one is at 4.34% um I don't I don't know how much I've put into it quite as of yet I need to start noting like my starting um percentage versus non-starting percentage I do know I've put in actually I've put in quite a bit because this one started out with like I think only 200 ish stitches in it and it's now got 3660 so it's it was a very small start whenever I I started it because I think I got it started because I was going to try to do no new starts last year and that didn't work for me. Um, anywho, so I just stuck it in the hoop and just started off on it and I got moving with it. Uh, this one is on 32 count and it is one over one half stitch. So we have a little bit of parking happening and a little bit of cross country happening. We're just trying to go through and fill in. So I've hit one of the little like the gemstones there. Um and of course we've got all this background that's been working in. I'm not sure how I feel about it because A, I kind of can't tell if I'm seeing like uh where I've been filling in the background if I'm just seeing the grid lines through or if I'm just getting grid lines. I don't know. It's not really that big of a deal because I'm sure once it gets stretched out and washed, it'll be fine. So, but it's only when I fill it in, <laughs> fill in the background. So, and before you ask, no, I don't go in 10 by 10 grids with the big colors that fill over huge portions. I generally stitch in a 20 by 20. So I usually go further away so that way it's not giving me those 10 by 10 grids because I do like to stick in a 10 by 10 area but for larger coverage of uh, color I usually go with 20 by 20. So we've just kind of been working through this there was something on my arm. Um, We've just been kind of going through this page. Of course, I've kind of started over up here on this other page, but that was just where I had extra of one color and I wanted to get it filled in. Um, but I've, I've mapped out the first page, so we're just kind of working that one. But as soon as we hit 5%, we'll be putting it away. So it's going to be an interesting put away because it's just all over the place since we've kind of fell into our love of cross country. Um, so got a little bit more to do on that. We have, before it gets put away anyway, we definitely, the first day back stitching after the hurricane, we picked up my um, Pride and Prejudice. I don't remember who it's by. Um, it was a chart on Etsy. This is how mine's going to look. And it's in a green. Of course, it's on green fabric too. So I'm doing a tonal one. And this is color 368. 
Um, <clears throat> I did hit, I think I hit 6%. Yeah, I'm at 6% on, on a sampler. Go me. And we've been steadily working. Oh dear. Sorry. I'm trying to move that. I've got a counting needle there. That's my little counter. Uh, this is what helps me count uh, spaces. Like, like that. Because it's got one needle and it's adjoined by the uh, thread on with the gem. And so you just put one needle and then you count with the other one. So we've been working in this vignette, which is the uh, Bennett house. And so I primarily was doing down here and added all this border and finished the roof. So I just have this top border, the other side of the house, and the little bit of clouds and everything to finish. And of course the border on this side to do for the Bennett house. And then we'll move to another vignette. I really do like this. This is on uh, I don't remember if this is 32 count or if it's 28 count, but I know it's, uh, the color, it's the fabric Valor from Picture This Plus. I actually fell in love with this fabric through, um, the Frosted Pumpkin, wow, Frosted Pumpkin, uh, Stitch Along Castle Homecoming was on Valor, and then they also used this color, uh, thread in it, and I just was like, that's what I'm doing. Because I really wanted a green tonal uh, sampler. And so that was the one. And I chose this sampler because it just it just fit. So I'm not sure where after I do this vignette where I will go if I want to work on that um, massive outside border uh, for a bit. Or how I want to do it. I have up here. I've got options. So I've started in on the border for the vignette of Pemberley with Elizabeth and um, Darcy and then I've got the vignette up above border started which is the one with the words so I have options of where to go I just don't know where I want to go once I finish the Bennett house um, <clears throat> But I've done a lot on that. I enjoy it. And last but not least is the Hade Cell for this year. I'm debating on whether I want to buy into the next one because if they do it sort of like this, I may buy into it because there's already one pattern on it that I can see in the little snippet that I wouldn't mind doing which is drinks on a beach. I can see that, but I don't know what the other ones are. So, and I kind of like having the snippets too, because this salgue is going to give me snippets from a different larger piece that I wouldn't so much want to stitch the big portion, but the parts that are in it, I'm like, yeah, I could stitch that. And there might be a few that I don't want to stitch, but they're not the big pieces. So, and it's been quite nice and I know I can finish the little snippets in a year, which is also fun to know. Anywho, this is Rainbow Dragon um, by Sheena Pike. This one is retired, so this one's no longer on the Heaven and Earth Design so and you can't buy it anywhere else. Um, I was very glad I chose this one when this all happened. I didn't so much like the large chart of this one on the site when they had it but the small portion is suitable just fine so here is where it is I've been working the last part is literally just from here over the partial pages I don't really think I just need, need to show you the mock-up even though I can there's the mock-up here's the real deal <laughs> we're we're very on track um this is my first hade that i will be finishing and i'm at 97.22 percent complete if i do my maths 
I think I only have like 1600 stitches left. Let's see. I have minus 59071. Yep. I have 1689 stitches left to do. Which means this weekend it will be finished. Um that is exactly I have 59,071 stitches completed out of 60,760 stitches. I never thought I could do that much in a year. So, and not only do that much in a year, but complete it before the year is over. That was the craziest thing because it was started December 31st of last year. And this is October. We're not even that I'll have two whole months that I finished it beforehand. I don't even know how I got ahead like that. Um, I really don't know how I got ahead of it like that. I just was stitching. I guess it was just the way that the method that I was doing, I got ahead. <clears throat> so to know that I could finish this in less than a year is just straight crazy but mind blown so what i'm going to be doing until the next video is finishing the hate so i'll be working on sloth getting that finished and then i'll be moving into my next um My next 5% by five, uh, 25. I may go ahead and pull out my next year's focal, um, uh, focal, full coverage, unless I get the new hate saddle when they drop it. Because I think I want that one just because then I, I feel like I don't know if I want to complete it next year if they give the same incentive or if um, I'll just complete however many pages it is to get the rest of the patterns but that's the debate we shall see I just I want to see what the patterns are before I buy it because they showed us the patterns of these before I bought and there are a few patterns that I originally wouldn't have bought a large scale so we shall see what it uh, comes up with and we'll go from there uh, but those are my plans finish the hate cell or get slocked 5% move to the next 5% and possibly um, Sarah, you want me to start pull out Round two for the laundry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Again, if you hear, heard that for the second time. Um, try to get the hates all finished. I'm trying to figure out where my train of thought was going. Sloth get finished. Work on the next, uh, 5% and pull out the next focus piece finish, which um, I do have that picked as long as uh, the hate all doesn't get in the way. My focus piece for next year for finishing is going to be my um, fan art piece of Rourke and Eve Dallas from my favorite book series. which is uh, the In-Death series by J.D. Robb. And as y'all know from previous uh, videos, if you've seen it, you can tell that I've gotten like part of her face done. So I had calculated it that by the end of next year, I would have, I think, if I calculated it the correct way, I would be very close to finishing her because I, I had already cropped out a lot of it. And I have two pages finished on her already. And it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one quarter, 
over one, two, three, four. Yeah, it would be very close to being finished next year if I do it in the same method as the cell, the hay cell. I would have roughly two pages and a few partials left to do on her by next year. But being that it is tent stitched and it's cropped, um, or at least I've cropped a good portion of it out, and I'm already at 20%, it's possible it could be finished next year. And it's a larger piece, so a larger by <laughs> 20,000 stitches. So it it's doable, and those are my plans. But I may do an extra video to show you um, <clears throat> like projects and what I've kind of come up with. I have um, full coverage focus, which I have six, which might change um, if I do the hate sow and non full coverage focus for next year, which I think one might change as well. And then I have six new starts and I just did it like that so that way I could, you know, just go in and I had options of starts if I wanted them, but at the same time I don't have to because I have the full coverage that I can focus on and some of them, or at least one, one of them if I focused on it enough I could prob probably finish it. But I might do, um... <clears throat> I might do a plans for next year. I also need to, I'm going to need to order another one of these books. So I will definitely do a video on that, but that's all I have for my gloss tube video of the day for an update for you guys. In October, hopefully by the end of October, or yeah, hopefully by the end of October, you'll see the hate cell finished. Those are the the biggest plans. So I'll see you guys again in another couple weeks, two or three weeks, I guess. Um, we'll go with that just to see if I can actually do it, and we'll see if my hate cell is finished, which is a giant hope. If it's not, bummer. If it is, great. We still have till December 31st to get it done. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye, everyone.